we're back <laughs> at the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference here in the Miracle Mile in Chicago, Illinois. And joining us is Nikki. My name's Tom. I host the podcast, Cannabis Legalization News. And sometimes I help out here at Mita Unshackled. Yeah. And with and us is... This is uh, Max Uhas from Dope SEO. Uh, I don't really do much podcasting, but I do do a lot of digital marketing for cannabis companies. And every once in a while, I do I get invited to like jump on these and talk to wonderful people in the industry, which is way more fun than sitting in front of a computer all day. So, uh, and with us, we have Nikki. Nikki Introduce yes. yourself. Yes, thanks, Max. You're for very that. welcome. We, we actually cross paths in uh, Mississippi of all places. Was that, that wow. was Mississippi. It was yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. Happy to see that program going. Absolutely. Uh, Nikki uh, Moreland, I am the VP of Emerging Markets for the CRB division of Brinks. Uh, so PAI, which is a division of Brinks, uh, is in the ATM space and someday soon hope to be in the digital retail solutions Ooh. segment of the business. Ooh, very nice. Digital very nice. retail solutions. Is that another word for e-com? Yes, sort of. We want to move cash around and we want to keep it in the building. Oh. Uh, that's the goal. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so we want to keep it in the building. Uh, you have a smart safe, so your 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 butt tender can just throw the cash into a machine. Is that like the Seven Eleven, like the tubes, where it's like we uh, don't keep more than two hundred dollars in the drawer well, at all times, like kind that. of thing? So, or, okay. Something like that. We just want to make it easier and safer for people. We want less trucks on the road, right? So we're doing whatever we can to to provide a service to people and, and okay. make and make and I say make cash cool. Um, cash is queen. That's where we're at. Right. Uh, right. But we're also in in the in the ATM segment where we will install ATMs into dispensaries and wrap them in logos and do oh, some so you'll make you'll make ATM Ma sexy basically. We will. Okay. We, do, we totally will. And I'm like Max, <laughs> if you want your own ATM, uh, we can totally make that happen. I just want an ATM 100%. with my face on it like this. I, but wait, but the money come, the money comes out of my mouth. Okay, like, where do we put it? Yeah, because right. you know, like, do you have a storefront, a retail storefront? I do storefront? not. Yeah. You do though. So he's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So here you go, right? So here's this really cool ATM. We can put your photo on it if oh, you'd okay. like, and and then we we have this one that lights up. It's it's several different colors and uh, we have surcharge where you can decide what your surcharge is, and then you get money back every time oh. somebody uses that ATM I like to it. help your business. So. Yeah, well, we will we will discuss with uh, the partners what ATM service we should put in the dispo. Uh, maybe it'll be this one. Right. It's a good one. So where does Brinks operate? I know because you're here in, in Chicago and we met in Mississippi. So in regards to Brinks, is Brinks, is Brinks operating in all legal states for the emerging markets? Or are you just trying to open up specific markets? Like what has brought you to Benzinga today? Right. So Brinks is based out of Texas. Okay. And the division that I work with is PAI, which was acquired by Brinks in 2021. Okay. And, you know, we have over 110,000 ATMs across the country right now, wow. which is great. And we are a global, Brinks is a global company. You guys so, are literally printing money. Almost. Not they literally. Are, you're, they are literally you're literally dispensing money. money. And throwing it into a, an armored and, truck. And then driving it away. Driving it away and bringing it back. Again, you know, money. We, You know, those swipe fees that everybody is paying on, say, get the cash back out of people's hands and use it at those dispensaries. Right. For sure. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I, I feel like I cut you off. So, um, did you, cause you said Brinks was out of Texas. What brings you here though? Like what is, what is the goal for you? Does, My, is like, is Brinks have a booth here? Or you we just, don't this time. We, okay. we were at Benzinga, uh, okay. in Florida and we did have a booth there. Not this time. So we okay. are. So they sent you here to go meet everybody else. And, and they, I, they, I caught you they, walking they, around uh, and I pulled you over so here. Yes. The, the, Fine financial institutions, fine dispensary, single state operators, MSOs that are interested in kind of evolving their their program okay. uh, within the dispensary. So whether it's cash in transit or ATM machines or provisional credit, the smart safes, that is kind of the goal of today. Uh, I'll be speaking tomorrow nice, uh, nice. on a panel. It's called Banking in a Building. Uh, with the green check verified team. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a it's a great partnership that we're kind of building to just let everybody know what what their options are out there in the industry. Nice. So yeah, smart safe. Yeah, I was going to say, Never what is a smart safe? Yeah. Is that like a thumbprint thing or? Yeah. Hand, it can be. Yeah. Like so you basically have. Like, well, <laughs> let's let's like move, remove the biometrics for okay. one so like drop of like blood. paranoid second okay. here. It is literally a box like a safe. 
Okay. Here's your cash drawer. You got $5,000 into it. You literally put it into your machine, you know, like a cash counter, and then boom, it shows $5,000. And it's in there. It's secured. Like So it knows how much is in there. Correct. Ooh, appointment. that is smart. Yeah. You're not like... Right? They yeah. should coin that something a little different. Yeah, because But it's, it literally is smart that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, I know how much is in me. Do you? And then... If, like what if there was like Again, an AI? Max, you still need your own ATM machine. I, I'm a yeah. firm believer you that do. you do. I just feel like I don't know. I feel like there's an AI, like a twisted AI out there. That's like, there I, just, I took over all the smart ATM or the smart safes. Uh, well, I know how much is in here. Do you like? That's we know not that gonna happen might with Brinks, but well, let's hope, hope yeah. it never does. But it did happen okay. with what Caesar's Palace or whatever else. Yeah, yeah dude, really? they didn't yeah. pay. Yeah, um, yeah, because like, did, are they back online yet, or? I think they're back online. But right across the street, like somebody else didn't pay. Like I heard it was two a tale of two uh, casinos. Like one paid right away, and the other one was like, "We're not paying you." And like, meanwhile, they're losing eight hundred million dollars a day because they're they got. Did you hear about that? No. All right, this, I don't follow casino news. Oh, I don't know. I just, I just it's hacker stuff like uh, ransomware. Like they basically, oh. they, they took over the entire casino and shut them down and held them on ransom. This is 21, oh. 21, 21 million? Uh, 21 yeah, million per day. Dollars. Right. All right. Sorry, we're totally getting off topic here. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> Let's get back to <laughs> we're, well, we're talking about safes and, and everything. You know, the Brinks system. Brinks system. To take control and the of the Brinks cash system won't get the smart safes. Correct. Held for hostage. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. By hackers. But I think the biggest thing for, for at least me being there is just bringing some visibility to, yeah. to the industry as like we are a service provider and letting people know like, hey, you know, you may have signed up in 2018, 2019 for some god awful fees mm. uh, or you're not getting any surcharge mm. from your ATM program within your dispensary. Here we are to say we'll share it with you. We take a cut, oh. we take a cut and every time someone goes to that machine, you get revenue. And that's I think a that's a, yeah. a really important part that people sometimes aren't paying attention to, especially if they're looking a for look. a couple hundred, a couple thousand, you know, so on and so forth. Right. They, they, but you want one? I guess well, again. The dispensary is going to be open. And so it'll be, a, you know, then we'll have three of that brand in Illinois. They have 10 in, in Washington state. So I'll just bring it up and be like, what's our ATM situation? How much of the good good are we getting on that? And then uh, we can we can look at your guys and stuff, and then say, hey, we we make more by going with you. For yeah. sure, right. for sure. For and sure. you get a direct line to Nikki, and Nikki's like, it's you, cool. So you it's, do it's, actually, it's way better it. than like some of the other ATM companies that I've seen. Yeah. They're like, we just want to sell you an ATM, and you can load it yourself. And yeah, I'll totally pick up the phone. Yeah. it's an entire turnkey program, so mm-hmm. it's great. No cost to you. You don't even have to worry about it. We take care of everything. Soup to nuts. Cash handling. Soup to nuts. Do, do you come pick up the money too if we need it? We are working on that, and that's about the extent of what I'll say. Fair the enough. biggest part of that is we have to find good financial institutions to work with. Mm. Uh, so if for you the banks, have for the states, for the states, you have yeah. a great bank that you're working with, and they're kind of in our our wheelhouse, we're happy to start some of those preliminary conversations. We got a credit union that we work great. with, and so uh, happy to happy to further that conversation again. Do you, do you vet them yourselves to make sure, or is there like a team that vets the banks? It's a little bit of both. Okay. Uh, we are working very hard at coming up with good, you know, MSAs, agreements, and, and so forth to make sure that we're all in alignment on, you know, risk. Mm-hmm. Everyone's okay. risk lens is vastly different. <laughs> right. But when you talk about us being in this space, there's certainly an opportunity to evaluate that risk and make sure that everyone is prepared for what that might entail for the dispensary. Yeah. When did uh, Brinks, because I'm assuming it's the Brinks truck, you know, the, the, the safe people, the people that are about keeping your money secure. When did they start this new ancillary into the cannabis space? So the PEI division of Brinks started their foray into this space uh, in probably late 2022. And we got a, made a splash into 2023 when we were at the Benzinga in Florida. So mm, nice. uh, again, incrementally, we're moving into it. But right now it is ATMs. And again, if, you know, the opportunity is ripe and everyone's interested. CIT is, is hopefully the next wave. But again, we have to deal directly with the banks on that. So, right on. So yeah. Right on. Well, That's Nikki, awesome. how does everybody get in touch with you? Um, do you do? Good. Yeah. You you can email me. Okay. Do you, for sure. Okay. Do you, I, mean, I don't know. I, this is this is recorded, so when we yeah, publish this, I want to make sure like, that if I'm somebody's like, like, holy crap, Nikki's awesome, I want to contact yeah, her about my Yeah, it's like ATM. all about QR codes, so you can't show one, but it is oh. N-I-K-I dot M-O-H-R-L-A-N-T at Brinks, Inc. Okay. Dot com. Okay. So, I think uh, we can LinkedIn, give Eric the, same thing. Yeah, the information. Yeah. Tagged it. 
can give you all the info on that too. Great. Follow her on LinkedIn, everybody. Yeah. And then, uh, is there any parting wisdom that you can give to the dispensaries that are uh, are operating? <laughs> you you got to find money somewhere, and everybody, it's the here and now. It's not five years from now. It's mm. incremental. If yep. you need to find $100 this week, you might find $400 the next week. Mm. And if it's coming from your ATM, or it's coming from your cleaning supplies or whatever it may be, so your it's service like providers. So multiple revenue streams, you essentially. Do. You have yeah. to look at all of it, especially if you're a smaller business. It Cheers. goes all add right. up quickly. Thank you so much, Nikki, for joining us over here on the Mita Unshackled and CLN Podcast. We're reporting live from the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference, the Miracle Mile in Chicago, Illinois. And we'll be right back with another episode. Just wait for it to load or just play on the next video.